Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome to another video. Today we are taking a look at six underrated Sketch Plus tools that every SketchUp user should know. Let's get started. So first we have the wall tool. This allows you to create walls and merge them with other walls inside of SketchUp. Once activated, you got a couple of useful shortcuts. You can use the arrow keys to lock on the green or the red axis. You can also use control to cycle between the placement points. So as you can see, we can start at the bottom left, bottom right and center. And you can also adjust the width and the height. So I can set this to be an eight inch thick by 10 feet high. And even after I click and start to set my wall, I can still press control the cycle between the placement points so we're going to create a very basic square you can click to set the point or you can add the actual value say 30 feet and you can even hold shift to lock on inferencing and refer to walls so that they're flushed so pretty useful tool and you can also hold the alt key to disable a wall from joining the existing wall. Next tool we have is the hipped roof, which generates a hipped roof from a selected face. For example, this is my wall enclosure. I can easily create a face around this. We can maybe give it a one foot overhang. So let's offset that by one foot. And now we can create a hip to roof from this face. So select your face, activate hip to roof, and you can click once and set a height. As you can see, it generates the roof from there and you can use this as a base to model further from this point. You can also specify the slope of your roof has rise over run. Here is an example with a 412 slope. As you can see, it adjusted the roof to that specific slope. And here's another example of an 812 sloped roof so you can see how precise you can be to create a good roof base for your projects so next we have draw pipes which creates pipes by clicking a series of points or by pre-selecting the specific path in this example we have a diameter of three inches and a bend radius of two feet and as i click the points you can see that i'm creating a pipe along those points as you can see, it's a very simple tool to use. You can also click at the end of your starting point to loop close your pipe. And you can pre-select the shape or an edge as the path for the pipe. So here is another quick tip. Be sure to always refer to the instructors tab for extra instruction on any of the Sketch Plus tools. It gives you a detailed instructions tips and tools of operation. So in case you feel lost, make sure to always refer to the instructors tab. So our next tool is path array, which copies a component along a pre-selected path. And we're going to use this model as an example. I have this curve here that I will use as my path. And we're going to copy a light bulb along these wires. So here is my light bulb. The first thing you want to do is make sure that it's a component. Next, you want to make sure the axis is set specifically as how you want this to be positioned. So I want it on the top center. So I can use the change axis tool to do this. And I can set that here as I've done so. And now I can take this component inside this group, which also is a component. So it repeats on the rest of the other instances. Pasting place, I can select my path, activate the path array and select my light bulb. And now we can determine the spacing. As I move, you can see a nice preview of the component position along my path. And I'm going to pick a nice number like one foot six. And just to make things a little more interesting, we're going to use drop pipes to, to give a little thickness to these arcs. 
and we're going to set this to one eighth of an inch. So once again, another useful combination of tools that you can use to solve specific workflows. So the next feature we have is Smart Array, which creates multiple copies of an object based on its position, scale, and rotation. So this is the setup, and as you can see, I have a couple of components that I'm going to use for this example. The idea is that the stairs is going up, and I can basically use Smart Array to predict the position of the rest of the components. So I'm going to select, so I'm going to select Smart Array, select component number one, and then select component number two. And component array is going to arrange the next couple of copies. So we can set this to eight copies and we can see how it lands perfectly onto this next step. So similarly, I'm going to do the same to these two slats, to this wood slats down here. In the same fashion, I'm going to select component number one and then component number two and predict the rest of the components following. So it's a pretty unique type of feature, really depends on your creativity as far as what you want to do, but definitely one that you should have in your arsenal. Next, we have Drop Plus. This feature allows you to drop selected objects onto a surface below. As you can see, I have a couple of pendant lights that I want to drop in a wave pattern, which represents the surface at the bottom. So I can select Drop Plus and start to click on each component to drop onto the surface below. And equally, I can also select all of my components, select Drop Plus, and with a single click, I can drop all of my objects onto my surface. So it's something you can do individually or as a group. And as you can see, with the drop of all my components, I can easily now copy and paste. And so now I have a lighting feature that I can hang from a ceiling, which would look pretty good on our last example. So as you can see, Sketch Plus has a couple of tools that you can use to simplify any complex workflow inside of SketchUp. And that's gonna be all for this video. Let us know in the comments section which one of the six tools you find most useful. And also leave a comment down below for any tools that you'd like to see covered on the channel. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.